Hello everyone, this is Cedric May, and in this installment of our video tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to add a reference, or what we usually think of as a footnote, to a wiki page. So we're going to start on our scratch page and go over to the edit tab once again, and uh, get a look at our content and all of the markup. And uh, let's say that we want to add a second sentence uh, to the beginning of the basic information. Uh, and that sentence would be something to the effect of, however, Yale University is the home of one of the most important organizations for the study of Jonathan Edwards and his works. Now, let's imagine that we want to put a footnote here that doesn't really, that isn't really appropriate for the content that we're adding up here, but would, 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 would work great as an endnote or a footnote, such as what we might see on Wikipedia for William Howe. Uh, you'll notice when you scroll down to Howe's Early Life and Career section, uh, you'll see that there are footnote numbers or endnote numbers. And when you click on one of them, they'll take you down to the notes section of the William Howe page. And so you'll notice that there are a good number of, uh, of footnotes here. And, in wiki pages, we refer to these as references. So you'll see that some of these are very brief references, but some of them are a little bit more comprehensive. And when you click on them, they'll take you up to the section uh, that uh, in, in question that you want to go back and look at. So if we want to do something like this in our own wiki at the end of our second sentence, uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is put your cursor where you want the, uh, the reference to appear. And then you add two tags, open bracket, ref, close bracket, and then open bracket again, forward slash, ref, and then a close bracket. What you've created here is uh, are two reference tags that will contain the text of what you want to have as your footnote. Now, for our purposes, we want to say that, well, the Jonathan Edwards Center at Yale University is, uh, is going to be our, our reference. So we're going to highlight that for now and copy that over to our wiki page. And we're going to, we're going to paste that right between our two reference tags. So there's reference one, uh, the opening reference tag, and then the closing reference tag. And what these do is th these tell you this is where our reference is going to begin. Here's the content of the reference that's going to appear at the end of our wiki article. Now here's the end of our reference, and the rest, everything that you see after the closing, the open bracket forward slash ref close tag, uh, close bracket, everything that you see after this is going to go back to your regular wiki page and I'll show you what that's going to look like here in just a second. Uh, when we hit the show preview button you'll notice that now we have a footnote number but we don't see the content. So let's scroll down to the bottom. Well, We don't see there are reference tags, we have an error. Reference tags exist, but no references tag was found. The reason we see this is because in order for your references to show up, uh, you have to put this tag where you want those references or footnotes to appear. They can appear anywhere in the wiki, technically. But we usually, people will put them in a notes section. So let's create a header for notes. using our header markup and then we're going to create a references tag and everything that shows up everything that you've written sorry everything that you've written here is now going to show up down here below your notes uh, header and underneath the references tag that you just created. So let's see what that looks like in the preview. Okay, So now we see our footnote and when we scroll down 
we see that now, oh, we have a header for notes, which shows up also in our table of contents. And uh, the note says Jonathan Edwards Center, for Yale, uh, Center at Yale University. And when you click on the little up arrow, it'll take you back to where you were uh, when you were reading that, uh, when you were reading your content. Um, let's edit this a little bit to clean it up. Let's make the notes its own section by getting rid of a couple of the equal signs. And let's see. And let's uh, save the page. Okay, now we've saved our page, and we've done a lot in the last three videos. We've created a scratch page dedicated to Jonathan Edwards. It has a number of headers that creates a table of contents that's well ordered and numbered. And we can see too that we have a note section now because we created a note section that uh, has the uh, single equal sign on each side of the uh, of the of the header within the uh, uh, the editing pane. And now we also have a footnote that we created that when clicked on will take us down to the notes section. And when we go back to the edit function, we can go back to our editing, pay, editing page, look at everything that we've done, clean it up in any way that we want to, and uh, we can be very happy that we have created a, a, a relatively well-formed wiki page with some dummy text and some headers and some notes and a hyperlink that will take you away from the page and uh, to a separate web page out on the internet. That's all for now and uh, happy uh, editing.